All right, another FFT Arena match coming at your way. This time on top, we got Silent Castle's team, known as CT5 Holy's favorite. And on bottom, we have Audible's team, known as Lineup Single File. So, for Silent Castle, we got Derpy Chemist, the Chemist. Wacky Wacky, the Paladin. Big Numbers, the Monk. And Mimes are Fun, the Mime. So, um... This is a PA building team with the Paladin having Bow Song. Chemist here with Draw, Kiyomori, Masamune, very typical on an item box chemist, defense up, auto potion. 11 speed, so he's fairly fast. He has repel knives just to annoy with the uh, don't act procs. Paladin can use Valosan, like I mentioned before. He also has Selvin Cross for big damage. Uh, attack up, amplifies damage. Defender to prevent don't act. But uh, Chameleon Robe to prevent dead. Diamond Ar Armlet to prevent oil and slow, as well as absorb earth. Counter Flood's interesting. I mean, you get a little more extra damage in, but it can proc stats, so you never know when that can come out of nowhere. Um, then you have a monk. Typical punch art steel combo monk. Quickening steel art steel accessory. Spin fist, repeating fist. Uh, you have your typical um, punch art setup. Nothing really um, out of the ordinary here, except this monk's gonna hit extremely hard. And a Toxic Heal in mind, only knows Solution and Death Sentence. Has Lost Sleep Evasion thanks to Abandon and Equip Shield. Scooch on 2 and Leather Mantle. This mine's going to be very hard to hit. Very, very hard to hit. Even from the back, it's going to be difficult. Um, Interesting that you have the Chemist go first here with the song, with the draw. Um, maybe you're just looking for Chemist, Asamune and the Paladin, the Mime can mimic Asamune and the Monk. I don't know if that's going to work out exactly that way. If you're trying to get um, everyone hasted with Masamune all at once. Um, I would think that... Uh, actually, the mine... It, you, you might only get like maybe three people at best hasted. Um, which is good enough, I suppose. Um, I suppose. Um, let's look, we'll take a look at Audible's team. We got Fine Line the Bard. Thin Line the Thief. Rail Line the Dancer. And Lines in the Mediator. Um, oh wait, um, I actually had the two top scale users mixed up. This mediator has solution and death sentence. The mime has like insult, mimic, derivon, refute, and blackmail. So my apologies there. I just want to get that out of the way very quick. Back to the team though. Ramel Heart Bard with magic attack up. Pretty awesome. Kiku, uh, combine the earth close, which means 200 plus damage from Kiku. Decent damage from Kitetsu as well. Genji Gauntlet to add a little extra MA evade. This bar also carries Bao Song. Um, basically just to pump up the PA of the Dancer and the Thief. Pretty much. Thief has Hokotom, which is something we don't really see these days. So, it'll be interesting to see how well he can utilize that. 11 speed. Only because of the Phoenix Blade taking care of 1 speed. While Zephyr Shio can bring that back. Curse Drain, obviously. Be Undead. Black Constum, prevent uh, Fire Weakness. Um, yeah, this thief is primarily there for Hokutan spam. And with the amount of PA he may get because of Battle Song, yeah, it's gonna hurt. Um, I don't remember if... I think Overwhelm should be able to amplify that. If not, Attack Up definitely does. I've not seen Hokutan in a while, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. Martial Arts Dancer obviously carries Earth Slash. Also carries Rapine Fist. 16 PA. Pretty good. PA save. Oh, the um the two MA the two X save units have flee. Interesting. But normally normally how the AI works are going to act first, then run, as opposed to run first, then act. So I don't know how well flee's gonna really work. Maybe it might, maybe it might not, but I think either way, Audubon has to really hope that Flea doesn't screw him over somehow. Um Don't know how that would do it though. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And back to this mediator, she has white magic, cure, raise, and asuna. Uh, magic attack up, 14 MA is pretty good. You don't need uh, cure one's instant, so that makes sense to give it her magic attack up. Um, we'll see how this goes, though. I mean, um, Silent Caster has um, an ace in a hole in that mime, because he can throw around all the time at top, top scale. Audible, I don't think. Can combat all the talk skill. Uh, that maybe if the if the mediator can just simply stay alive, then maybe. I think Audible has to basically just outlast Soundcaster. Plus, Soundcaster has Battle Song. Um, and 
and the mime can mimic battle song, whereas Audible can only have battle song go off once, so... Soundcaster can set up a lot quicker than Audible, but we shall see. We are going to get to find out, though, when we get to map 112, Tiger. So that should be interesting to see here. Who's going to be better at utilizing Battle Song? We shall find out right now. So yeah, Soundcaster's pretty much only getting uh, three quarters of his units uh, hasted here with Masamune. Uh, uh, and then he also has quickening to boot too. Oh, witch hunt. That's right. The dancer has witch hunt. That's gonna stop. That's actually gonna slow down Soundcaster, actually, to come to think of it, because if Witch Hunt can just, uh, do. can just keep depleting MP fast enough, then. Battle Song, at least on his end, won't really matter as much. And the monks aren't even bothering using Chakra, um, at all. See, uh, Manton, Counter Flood though, there wasn't a stop rock. So now the Paladin should be out of MP actually by now. No Dervon actually misses. If he wasn't before, he certainly is now, so Soundcaster can't really get any more Battle Songs in. Depths in oh! Maybe he can, he got one more left in him. Let's see, Derpy Camus does nothing, except for derping around. See, my turn, not hitting thanks to that high evade. PA save after the X potion throw. So the Hokuton should be able to hit harder, actually. Mimic Dervon puts the Mediator to sleep. No MP, but now the Monk realizes that and goes for Chakra. Low extra Chakra, actually. Also, Balson increases the amount of MP that Witch Hunt can take. And there's a hard handed Hokuton. Nearly 200 damage each. But the Paladin's right there for the Transfuse, so... Everyone on Soundcast's team is... All well and good. Tetsu couldn't hit. Earth Slash for the heal. X-Potion again on the Thief. He gets another PA save in. And combo X-Potion. Soundcaster are kind of pulling ahead right now. Oh, DS misses. And Charm misses as well. So neither team is lucky with the gas effects right now. Okay, Wacky Wacky goes back to battle song duty and instead of marching forward, he marches back. Well, I suppose if, um, if the Paladin's feeling confident that the monk can take care of it, then I suppose. Blackmail actually lands 47% too. And Spinny Fist. There's a cure of, uh, there's a cure of one. We'll find out and see what this thief can do once he gets right back up. And then McDerivon puts the mediator back to sleep. Uh, let's see, Kiku, line up. That's, yeah, that's 196 damage total. Um, that would be combined, that's, that's just 392 damage that Bar just delivered. And Repeat Fist, just enough to bring him down. I suppose having high HP really does pay off. Hi, other. So more Bow Songs can come Soundcaster's way here. And as you can think of it, it is, it is because of the Bow Songs that, um, 
The bard went down. Uh-oh. Sleep proc. Not good for Audubo. Double kill, spin fist. And that is it. Silent Castle takes round one. We're going to round two. Okay, round two is about to get underway right now as we are on map 73 inside the windmill shed. Much smaller map this time around. Uh, Silent Castle definitely had the upper hand. With the sleep procs and the double kill spin fist is what really clinched it for him. The Paladin didn't really do... Well, he did do something. He did contribute to the team with the battle song. But offensively speaking, he didn't really do anything. Then again, I guess at that point, he didn't really need to. And refute to... Wait. That thief right there? Oh, the Phoenix Blade with Rerays. Wait, isn't that, isn't that like a glitch where you combine re-raise with undead status that it may never get back up? I'm curious about that actually, if that's really the case. See, so Rapine Fist and may save. Now the bar's going to hit even harder. The mime has, um... Okay, DS misses. The Mime has Iron Will on him, so he's going to be even harder to hit. A few gets rid of Re-Rays. Aww. I want to see what would happen if the Thief goes down but has Re-Rays and is also undead. Oh well. It's just like, uh, how many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Unless someone's going to post a comment in the video or... In the, FF, in the FFH forums, and then the whole mystery is going to be solved. Oh well. Anyways, um... So far, that bard is doing a good job, um, keeping everyone down, but that pound, uh, put a stop to that. And actually, it's, um... Is Audible that's actually in the lead right now. See Katetsu? Put him in the critical, counter flood. No, don't move, proc. See, rail line goes for repeating fist. Good way to bypass all kinds of evasion. You see, Derpy Camus goes for a Kiyomori onto the uh, Mediator. And then Kiyomori this time onto the Dancer. Thin Line gets right back up. Hokutan drops the Monk. And Kyor to heal up the Bard. So he's, um, he's pretty healthy now. Oh, that Thief just survived just 1 HP. Kiku hurts the Chemist. And the bar does not get an MA save in, but if he does go down, thanks to Defender Wax, so Soundcaster just may have taken back control here. See, raise one coming up. Back down to, um, well, it's three on four. The bar is going to actually get a turn in. Kiku drops the chemist, and the bar gets dropped as well. Let's see, wave fist. Good luck hitting through that, through that kind of evasion. As mimic Derivon does not cancel the raise one. That bar's really um, Audible's really only hope for survival here. He does get a turn. Doesn't kill the Paladin, but does drop the Monk, and the bar goes down once again. Defender Slash, PA safe. Dancer gets a turn. Repeating Fist. Always handy to have Repeating Fist. Can Audible's team even last this much longer? It just might. Another raise one, the bar gets another turn, and... Counter Flood, don't move proc. And Wacky goes for a slash. Down goes the Mediator. 
poison was able to chip away. Pain fist. And blackmail hits. See, um, someone just crystallized and Berserk misses. It might have been one of the Audible's units, I think. Or maybe it was the sound catch unit, I don't remember. Okay, counter flood. No status proc. And Mimic Derevon, yep. Soundcaster wins. Oh, wait, not yet. The thief just got right back up. And, t and drops the Paladin, one-on-one -on -one already. See, Blackmail misses, so... This could be Audible's chance to make a comeback here, actually. Hokotan, I guess, bypasses the e evasion here. Uh-oh. Now, Soundcast just... M oh! Wow! I was about to say, Soundcast just might have taken that match from Audubo, but Audubo just took that match right back. Jesus Christ, we're going to a round three. Alright, round three time. Which we're going to map 104, Blue Resonance. The interior decoration of Blue Resonance. Round two got really crazy with um, units being dropped down to basically uh, two, on, two on one, then one on one. Audubo was just able to sweep this with a lucky uh, Berserk Strike hitting through all that evasion too. So we're going to see how round 3 is going to shape up. Can Audible be just as lucky? Let's see, Berserk does not land. Fine line goes for Kotetsu, her inhale action. See, so Counter Flood, Oil Proc. A little X Potion Heal for the Monk. That's pretty good for Soundcaster here. Southern Cross Mimic Batfire, which is not going to be good for Soundcaster. Then again, it barely scratched the Monk, but still. It looks like the Soundcaster is just going to simply blitz Audible to death. Something to the point where, uh, just repeating fists alone, you still be able to just wreck them. Way fist hits. Sarabo's dancer has some spunk left in her. And repeating fist again drops the thief. And blackmail hits the dancer, so yeah, I think this is going to be over already. There's a cure more to add a little more insult to the injury. So yeah, now we're just waiting for that dance with the drop. And she's gonna drop relatively soon. Iron Will just for fun. Yep, refreshing the don't act with the repel knife, and it is over. So Soundcaster wins, GG.